Hey everybody, I am Meg from Love and & Stamps and today is a very exciting day at Maker Mornings with Meg. So today is kickoff of a brand new collection of stamps and dies and embellishments and papers. Oh my gosh, uh, don't let me forget to show you more about the papers. Um, it's just a really fun day. So I hope you guys are excited like I am. Uh, link is in the video description for supplies and we're gonna talk about some things here. Uh, so my feature for the month of May is to uh, talk about the Beautiful Balloons stamp set and the Bright and Beautiful Suite. So let me, I can show you the inside of the book now, um, now that we're live. So here is that suite here. And you might be looking at this and thinking, yay, I have birthday balloons already. Um, but there are some really unique things about this. It's really well designed to make the most of a set of dies that match the stamps. Um, I know, big concept, right? But really, um, there are a lot of really cool pieces in this. So over the uh, course of the projects that I share, you guys are going to be really excited about the possibilities with this suite. So kicking it off today, we're going to explore the uh, some of the stamps, um, some of the basic stamps in here and how you can really easily use them for dies. And then I just realized uh, we are going to talk about the designer series paper for this. So this is actually one of the double packages of paper. And so you get I'm missing one sheet here in the sample. This is only 11 of the 12, but you get 12 different uh, patterns and prints for these um, in the colors for the suite. The cool thing about these papers and this suite is that it explores all of the new core colors that Stampin' Up! has debuted. Uh, so if you want to jump in and try out all those colors and see what you really love, then you are going to want the link in the video description because this is the suite to get. It features all these colors in the best way and it really, um, when I looked at the new colors, I was like, oh, I don't know, bubble bath? That is an interesting color. Um, when I paired it with all these, I'm like, oh, I totally get this color now. So this is the jump in and understand how all the new colors work sweet in my unofficial language. So, um, of course I'm showing you this too, because this is the time to sign up. Um, it's a very limited time to sign up. I don't want you guys to miss out, um, for the Loven Stamps designer series paper, um, share. The coolest thing about this share, and I got like People reached out to me because I didn't have it ready right away. Um, They're like, I'm done with my papers. I need more. Can you, are you doing that again? Um, and the reason is that it comes with designer series paper and cardstock. So you get a sheet of cardstock, a half sheet like this, that's just ready to fold, ready to stamp card base and a piece of DSP for each one of the colors. So basically all you want to do is just chop this down, make it into a card front. Um, and so you will have all 89 new patterns and all um, 89 sheets of card stock to go with them. So you will have basically 89 cards ready to go and it will help you use your DSP instead of collecting it, which I know some of us are want to do. So um, anyway, sign up for that. Link is in the video description to sign up for the DSP share. Also, um, you have to sign up by May 4th um, to uh, make sure you get uh, a spot in there. So, or if it fills before then it'll close. So don't wait. All right. Are you guys ready to do some stamping? Hello everyone. Let's see Sue and Trish and Carol and Margie and Kelly and everybody's excited about the new catalog today. So, all right, I'm going to swap my camera down and we are going to work on getting started here. So, uh, I have our card base and we are featuring, like I said, new colors. So this is lemon lime twist. Uh, no, it's not. Yes, it is. This is Lemon Lime Twist, which is actually a returning uh, returning in color, and Berry Burst, which is actually a returning in color also. So these are like out of the archive if you um, haven't seen them before. And then I'm going to add in the Lemon Lolly, which is a new color that I love. Honestly, the first time I took it out of the package, though, I couldn't figure out what it went with. So um, that's one of the things that I love about this suite here is that it it just brings all the colors together and shows you how to use the new ones. So, um, and then we are going to use some designer series paper. This one, um, are two of the sheets here from that one that I showed you the, um, bright and beautiful paper. And these, um, colors are featured here are bubble bath, which is also one of those new colors. Um, and I think this is very burst again, sort of the prints of it. So lots of different 
different um, ideas there. And I'm gonna show you some tricks for making the most of your paper, which is honestly, I mean, you wanna stretch it, right? You don't wanna, I don't know, you don't wanna, no one wants to waste paper, so. All right, so we're going to um, go ahead and, like I said, start with this card base here. Um, we're gonna layer. I love to layer here a four and a four inch, four inch by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and grab um, a designer or a, a grid paper background here because we're gonna stamp off the edges of this. So let me zoom in just a little here so you guys are not quite so far away from me. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna grab my Berry Burst ink pad. And of course, if you have these ink pads from the last time these um, colors were available, then you can go ahead and use those. Uh, I ended up just getting my new pads because I just, I, there's something about a fabulous new pad. Plus, um, if you get all of the new updated um, core colors is what they're called, the ones that won't change out, they're uh, part of the regular collection. Um, if you get all the new core colors together, you can get those in a bundle with a discount. So, all right, so among the fabulous, that was not well done here. All right, so I'm gonna give you a tip there. Uh, among the fabulous images included in this stamp set is this confetti um, banner, not confetti, what is that stuff called? A streamer uh, banner right there. And if you've ever tried to twist streamers and had trouble like me, um, then you would love this because it's pre-twisted at exactly the right place. It doesn't have to, uh, have to be um, hard work for you. And if you are getting images like this when you stamp, then remember to take your um, uh, paper piecing, piercing uh, mat, put it underneath your grid paper because you're stamping off the edge, and this will help you get a really excellent image from your photopolymer stamps. There you go, see how beautiful that is. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some streamers here to our paper. And um, I don't really think you can get too many streamers, so I'm just gonna add more. Usually with stamping, I'm like, okay, when you think you need maybe one more, stop, um, quit while you're ahead, but I'm just gonna go crazy with the streamers this morning. Okay, I like that. So now um, we are going to layer this here on our card base. So this is gonna layer just like this. And let's see, I don't really need seal plus. Seal will do it. And so I'm gonna add some seal to the back of our uh, card layer here and layer this. And I love the way these colors pop together. So now coming back to our, um, coming back to our card pieces, uh, I have this strip of designer series paper here and of course, um, you could use any of these designer series paper strips. Um, all of these colors will match and make great choices for working with this stamp set. Um, there are some like these ombre papers here. These are kind of, I consider them the back sides and then all these patterns on the front. So I just have one here that's the berry burst and I'm gonna go ahead and put it across here. And I'm gonna do really close to the bottom because we've got a lot of fun things going on on this card. All right, so we have sort of a base for our card here. Hey, hey, GM. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and do some layering of some of these balloons. So let's go ahead and look at the dies here for this stamp set, sort of give you the tour of the die set. Um, there are a number of fabulous pieces. This is a um, strip for making fringe, which is going to, you're gonna use this for all kinds of things that have nothing to do with balloons, okay? Uh, grass would be one, like there's just no end to the possibilities for that. Um, there's also this fabulous tag here, and a hint about this tag, you can trim off the top of it um, like this after you've cut it, because this is separate, so it could be just a label, it doesn't have to be a tag. This is a confetti you can use to make confetti that you're putting in a shaker card or gluing onto something. You can use it to put holes in your card to have a mirror or have a, um, a vision through. There are these little tassels here. So it goes this way, of course. Um, tassels, super popular. There is a die here that cuts out the punched or the stamp tassel. Then we have stars, which match the shape of the stars in the little confettis. Um, and we have one, two, three, four, five single balloons plus 
this mass balloon, which is very exciting. So this will be appearing in a future um, video for me, but this is the magic shaker card balloon die. Um, it's just amazing. So a uh, perfect balloon collage every time. So we'll, we'll be coming back to that. For this one though, I want to use this one here. And if I can get it off, okay, we're gonna use that one. And then I want this balloon here, okay, with the open circle. Um, now, some of these balloons layer with each other. You can see that these go um, nicely together. These guys layer pretty well together. So you can have layered balloons or a variety of sizes. Um, and we'll talk more about those as we go along. All right. Okay, so uh, we're going to come back to these two balloons here and let's go ahead and do a little stamping. Um, I've got our stamp here for the lemon lime twist. I love this color. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this here on our cardstock. And then um, included in this stamp set are all kinds of fun words. You did it, yay you, so thrilled for you. If you have grad cards to make, um, people graduating from anything uh, or people retiring uh, at this time of year, this is the stamp set you can use or you can use it for birthdays. Anything that's a celebration um, is a great occasion. So now I'm gonna take my berry burst and I'm gonna stamp right over the top of that. So we have our yay you greeting, okay, which is gonna go on here, but we're gonna die cut this. And of course, uh, I've got my washi tape already on there, so it makes it easy to die cut that. And then, I think um, we're gonna use this uh, lemon lolly and I am not going to um, stamp this. I'm just gonna leave it blank, but we're gonna use some of these other stamps in the middle, so never fear. And through the magic of television, I have my lemon lolly balloon cut out and I have my, oh, I guess I have to stamp it still. I have my um, lemon lime twist balloon cut out. So let's go ahead and we'll put the greeting back on there. There we go, yay you. All right, so our balloons are going to be here. And then we are going to, um, we need to bring this, like we need to focus this uh, area here, this focal point. Um, Sue, so you heard Pepper, right? Yeah, she's given up now. She's gone to lay down. She, she was sure she needed to be outside, but there is a squirrel taunting her. Um, and it is really hard on uh, the neighbors because she likes to bark at the squirrel. All right, so focal point here. Um, one of the things in our die set here, um, thanks Elizabeth, is, uh, or in our suite here, is this um, fabulous, um, these window sheets here. They're printed window sheets and they come in three patterns. So let me separate them so you don't get confused. There's this one here that's sort of the falling confetti pattern and it's gold on this side. There's this one, which is the um, dotted confetti. And there's this one, which is those little um, like streamer confetti that look like things from parades and Ferris Bueller's Day Off or something. Now, it's gold on one side. It is silver on the other side. So if you have big anniversary e things, you're looking for gold and silver, um, big celebrations, you can swap those and use both. Uh, but I have here a three by three piece of this fabulous paper and it is going to layer here on our background and we can choose if we want it to be gold or if we want it to be silver. Hmm. I don't know, this is like, are you a gold jewelry or silver jewelry person? Um, I have, I think I'm gonna go with gold, but if you, if you think I should do the other, leave me a comment um, and maybe I can show you a silver version. So we have our pieces here. Now I feel like um, the great thing about this paper, this um, window sheet, is that you can see through it so you don't lose the effect of all of the cool stamping and things we've done in the background, but it also isn't quite as like cementing um, when we're looking for it for focal points. So instead, let's go ahead and look back to our designer series paper because there are some fab ones here and this here. Um, I'm gonna grab this paper and I wanna put this on here. Um, I'm not gonna add another balloon because I feel like if we get too many balloons, uh, we're gonna get some uh, like confusion here of uh, shapes and so forth. But um, I can add from my super favorite, uh, as you guys know what die I'm gonna get out, right? My super favorite. Oh good, Anna wants gold, thanks Anna. Uh, this is Stylish Shapes and I'm gonna grab a circle here and we are going to 
die cut uh, the second largest circle here. Is that right? Yep, second largest circle here from our ombre paper. And we're gonna come back to this die set, so um, you'll see it again momentarily. But I have this die cut here, uh, and if you cut this to be a three by three square first, you can also, of course, use the um, frame for another card. And the um, dots, of course, with the stylus shapes dies um, are both on the inside and the outside of the cut line, which means you have a lot of really cool elements created by just one die cut. So save your um, frames because you can definitely use those for something fun. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add this here to our card. All right, and I love that ombre. Think about which direction you want your ombre to go. Um, if it, Just notice it. You, it doesn't have to be a certain necessarily, but don't be surprised. And you can see how suddenly those balloons just really, um, they're real focused in here because of that background circle. But I want our focus to be here on our greeting and less on like the general idea. So. Also in this die set is the um, set of banners. So I have this banner right here and I have a piece cut out from a piece of designer series paper. Also this rainbowy one that's included and we're gonna die cut this and add it to our card like so, all right? Okay, so there is another die cut. So we have um, just our banner here. Check out how different that is. So here is without it, and then here is with it. It just like grabs your attention and brings it right here to this greeting, doesn't it? I love that. Okay, so we have two embellishments we're gonna add to this, so um, we're a good start here. Uh, the first embellishment is I think that the balloons need strings. Um, so I have my um, Baker's Twine Essentials, uh, there are some new Baker's Twines that just became available today, so um, I couldn't order them ahead, but I'm gonna snip myself two little pieces of Baker's Twine, and we are going to add these to our balloons. Oh, I did stamp the back of this, but we're not gonna use it. I like it plain. Here, you guys wanna see it without being plain? I feel like it was just a little bit too much. So there, there's that. Don't, don't worry though, like I said, we're gonna use it inside our card, so you'll get a chance to see it in action. All right, so the easiest way to attach these is to pop the um, Baker's Twine on there and then add a um, Stampin' Dimensional over the top. And you want it, the dimensional to be pretty close to where the balloon string ends so that it stays um, nicely there. It, it's not as effective if the balloon string is like coming off from the side there, okay? All right, so let's layer these. I'm gonna go ahead and Put one more on here because I want to make sure that it sits on our banner correctly. All right, so we have our yay you, and then this is going to layer here on our, and we are going crazy with the layers because you know what, why not? This is a big yay card. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our balloon here. I'm gonna add one more so that it's not like lopsided under this banner out here at the end, okay? So now we have kind of a fun little uh, embellishment piece. And this is going to layer with more dimensionals. I know people who'd use, uh, use less dimensionals will be proud of me. So I've got a whole bunch on here. All right, now layered here on our gold. Thank you, Anna. Um, oh yeah, Jan, the, the gold silver paper is amazing. So here's what the silver side would be. But then this is going to stick down. Now, when you use window sheets like this, um, it is imperative that you put your adhesive only where the um, adhesive will be hidden by the, um, by the layers. So I'm gonna go find is the, the best uh, glue for gluing stuff like these window sheets. And I'm gonna put this flat here. I, I, would, I think it was a little, would've been a little crazy to use one more, although I could have, um, a layer of, uh, at Stampin' Dimensionals on there, so. All right, so we're not quite done with the front of our card, and then we have the inside of our card with a very important trick that I'm going to share with you. Um, the other thing new in the catalog are the 2023 to 2025 in color dots. Remember, if you haven't, I haven't shown this trick for a while. Um, if you haven't seen it, make sure you are opening your packages from the side with scissors because it is so easy 
to just um, move your stuff in and out that way. You don't have to worry about that sticky flap getting caught on everything and just fussing with the package. It's just so much easier to use them like this, okay? So open from the side. Uh, these are actually the in colors, and I do like this mauve color to match our um, pieces here. So I have uh, one that I've been working from here. You can see how many of my dots I have already used. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some of these. They come in three sizes. So a small, a medium, and oh, a large, except I said them in the reverse order. Um, they're on the front of our card. And those focus in even more on our fabulous um, focal point there, our yay you, all right? Okay, so what else? What are we using on the inside of our card, Meg? You keep promising me more ideas. Okay, I have a sheet of basic white cardstock here, and this is going to layer inside. So let's um, let's take a look here at some of our other greetings uh, or other stamps. I have this, I think it's time for celebration. And so I am going to go ahead and use this inside our card. And I have a couple other um, samples to share with you for this stamp set too, in case you're like, oh wait, what else can you do with that? Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I think it's time for celebration. We're gonna stamp this. I'm gonna stamp it off to the side actually, okay, in berry burst. And then one of the other cool um, stamps, where's my die package? in this set is this um, confetti balloon. And I love this. It can be used with this one or without this one. Let me show you a sample. This is a card by my friend, uh, Linda Yearsley. She's a very talented stamper. And this is an example here where she used um, that uh, die or those two stamps together. So this one here um, with the background and then the gold embossing here over the top, so stamp in Versamark and then use embossing powder. And she even used a small one. Now you might be thinking, um, wait a minute, uh, there's no small confetti that matches this balloon. So the answer to that is uh, that we made, a, we made a mask and stamped through the mask onto this because this is actually stamped flat on the card. So um, that one ended up with a cool thing there too. So really kind of a fun card there. Um, and then did the same here on the inside. So a great, a great sample there. Um, but we're gonna use it a little differently. We're gonna use it just as a um, shadow kind of balloon. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this here and off on the edge of my card. And then I'm gonna use my other balloon. So I'm repeating the balloons that we used on the front and put it right here. But I kind of want it to be a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna stamp it once on my scratch paper and then stamp it here on our card inside, okay? See how that gives us that nice um, little bit lighter uh, sh tint, shade tint, shades are darker, tints are lighter, um, tints of the Lemon Lime Twist. Then we have the fabulous little birthday string, um, which I can add to our card. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this. I'm gonna bring in our, our scrap again because I don't wanna stamp on my table uh, surface. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this here at the bottom of each of these little balloons. And if you wanted to vary it, you could of course flip it the other direction. But that gives us a really neat little um, addition there for our card. And then finally, um, there when you're just looking for that one more thing, you're like, I love these colors, I wanna keep stamping. Um, there is this little tiny uh, th star image. Um, so like this little five star, you could write a little, five star, our friendship is five stars. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it just as a little embellishment for underneath their greeting. And that just sort of brings a little bit more attention right there to the area, okay? All right, so now I can stick this inside our card just like so. We've stamped in our card, it's beautiful, but what if I took this paper, which is cute and from our same suite, and layered this here and stuck this down? Now there is a real celebration inside our card um, and lots of co color continuity and so forth. But you might be thinking to yourself, Meg, oh my gosh, don't do it. You're gonna waste that whole four inch by five and a quarter sheet of paper. And I tell you, no, I am not going to waste it. So this is where my stylish shapes dies come back in. And I teased this trick the other day. Um, so you, uh, 
um, my, you like have to like record this part or pin it or whatever. Um, when I have my blog post done later today, you can go and you can pin this idea. Um, but you want to make the most of this paper um, by cutting out some extra pieces, okay, here. And then I think, um, which one? This one, this banner fits here. So this is my formula for saving paper from this. Now, you wanna be careful when you die cut this. You could do them separately, but if you do them all at the same time, just put washi tape down to make sure the dies don't jump on top of each other because they don't like to cut on top of each other. But you run this through, and what do you get but a whole mess of fabulous pieces. So I have these three banner sizes and this circle, which I can use on a card, and this little frame, which looks like a scrap, but is not. This is the piece I actually want for our card. These are just all bonuses for later. Um, and this piece is gonna layer here like this, and no one except everyone who watched this video is going to know that I cut out all that paper. So that's like my formula. In fact, those four dies, I often have them taped together so that um, if I'm like mass producing or making a few of a certain card, then I just take that washi taped mass of dies and I just pop them onto the next piece and pop them on and, and so forth. So you don't even have to set them up every time. Pretty fabulous. All right, so how am I gonna attach this? I am going to use multi-purpose liquid glue a teeny bit. Uh, because I really don't want the edges of our <laughs> um, paper to show up. And remember, this glue, if you can see it, it is enough. You do not need a lot. And then this is going to layer down in our card. Okay, like so. All right. And check this little miracle out. Ta-da! It does not show part. Um, you want to make sure you're using Stampin' Up! cardstock. Um, all cardstock is not the same, and if you have a, a um, basic white cardstock that is on the uh, on the see-through side, then you're not going to be able to do this trick because you're you're going to show through the holes in your thing. But Stampin' Up! Basic white, no problem at all. All right, so that glues in. Remember to always press it down from the back side. Uh, glad you like that one, Barb. Um, okay. And then here from the front. So we have our fabulous, super decorated inside that used basically a scrap and our front of fun card here. And it's all mix and match paper. So you notice that we made a whole bunch of these papers here. So these can be mixed and matched. Like this is another um, card here ready to go to use as another um, set of supplies. So really um, you can customize these colors, anything you want within the um colors that are in the suite. And of course, I just told you that this is the best suite to test out all the new colors and find the ones that you really love. So here are the colors that are featured. It is Lemon Lime Twist, Pretty Peacock, Azure Afternoon, Blueberry Bushel, Berry Burst, and Bubble Bath. And there is the um, the set there. And of course, there's the, the gold and silver paper, which everyone goes, oh my gosh, Meg, I didn't know it was so cool in the catalog. It's so much better to see it used. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Um, so this is, of course, available as a suite collection where you just have one um, item number and then you get the uh, stamps and die bundle, the paper, and the gold celebrations paper, um, or you can order everything a la carte. So remember when you get bundles um, of the stamps and dies, there is a 10% um, bundle savings that you get for ordering those together. So, All right. So there is this card. You want to see another version of it? I have one here somewhere. Ah, this one. This one features the silver. So if you were sad because we used the gold instead of the silver, there's the silver version. And it features the rainbow paper um, for more of the card there. So, but same um, trick on the inside. Just think of all the banner pieces that I'm making and saving um, with those stylish shaped dies. So if you don't have them already, man, they, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I've tried so hard to tell you how great they are. So I think I've, I've gotten it across there. But um, anyway, so here, this is my first card with this um, fabulous new stamp set. I have a couple 
um, other samples to share with you, but the majority of my samples I'm going to show on Wednesday or Thursday night, May 4th at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, and that will be uh, my new catalog release party, so a virtual release party. So make sure you tune in for that. I know it's at night. And we have another episode of Make Our Mornings with Meg on Thursday morning um, at 9.30 a.m. Central Time on Thursday the 4th also. So lots of opportunities even to see these. But here are a couple samples um, with the same papers. This one is by my friend Natalie Travis. And she. Um, this is a really great, simple card base. Um, she took three pieces from the designer series paper and just um, layered them out. So I think this is probably, these are inch and a half strips, one, two, three, with a greeting in the middle on a strip of cardstock. Um, this would be a great card that you could make if you were doing designer series paper share from me because um, you would have all those mix and match patterns. And here's a sneak peek by Jill Olson um, of that fabulous balloon trio. We're going to do a little bit different uh, version of this with a little bit of well, okay, a whole lot of stepped up um, on it. So, oh, my camera is having trouble white balancing there with this um, very burst cardstock. That's how intense this color is. It just makes the whole world go pink. Um, <laughs> but there is our, our other sample of this one. Okay, oh, I also wanted to show you um, some of the other designer series papers. So let me close my ink pads because um, I don't want to ink these fabulous papers. But um, we have, uh, so I already showed you um, the first one here was the um, bright and beautiful designer series paper, that part of the paper share. Um, I have another sneak peek of the paper share to show you. This is um, Cheerful, uh, Fresh as a Daisy, and it features the other set of new colors. Um, these are, oh, not Azure Afternoon, but these are the new in colors, um, along with Azure Afternoon, which is from the new colors, and these are the Fresh as a Daisy papers. So um, you get, as part of the Loven Stamps paper share, you get a six by six piece of each of these papers, which is plenty to um, make some really great cards. Somebody was telling me they loved doing the paper share, and then, oh my gosh, all these um, brushed color wash backgrounds in this in these uh, in colors too. Somebody was telling me she loved getting the Loven Stamps paper share from me because um, since the card stock is included, it's really easy to just make um, up your cards. And she had all of the themes for all of the different papers, which um, means that she could make cards for everyone in her family. So without necessarily investing in a whole package of each of those papers. All right, so that's Fresh as a Daisy. Um, speaking of papers, um, unless you have a lot of small people in your life, um, although honestly, I will not limit this paper to small people. Um, this is the part of the zoo, new zoo paper. Um, so these are those colors, which I adore. Um, and then here is the designer series paper to match this one. So all these little characters, you can fussy cut if you want to. You could use the papers. Um, they match the stamp sets. Uh, this is my favorite. I have a house full of musicians. Um, so this one is so, I just like, look at the beaver playing the bongos. Isn't that the best? My daughter just played bongos in a, um, a choral concert last weekend uh, for her choir at school. Oh my gosh, a little banjo playing aardvark, or what is this? What is that guy? Um, a boar of some kind? Um, a flautist frog? And then we have our ballerinas, great for dancers. And then this is my other favorite paper. I am um, super prepping for a two week backpacking trip in New Mexico this summer. So um, I'm loving this paper too. And then the back sides um, for this one are all black and white, which seems boring, but means the best. You can customize these 100% to match the papers on the front. So if you wanted to have this Fox paper, it feel, feels very French to me. En Francais, um, you could uh, take this flower to go with it and you could use um, a sponge dauber to make this floral um, the same pumpkin pie background or the same pool party background. So this could be pool party floral paper to match your, th your um, little fox. Did that make sense? Um, hey, Annie. Hey, neighbor in Indiana. Okay. So that's that paper, and I guess, oh, this is the daisy paper again. So, okay, so those are the ones I have to share you, but um, you will get all 89 new papers. I just showed you, what, like 20 here. Um, you'll get all 89 new papers, 
as part of the Loven Stamps DSP share, you can have the option of adding the one that includes all of the new color um, shares. Oh, I do have one more to share with you. This is the um, country side in or something like that. I can't remember. Um, I didn't think I was going to love this paper as much as I did. Uh, it is gorgeous. And there's a couple of whites. So there are some great blues. Um, this is uh, balmy blue and the new boho blue, um, which of course Stampin' Up! teased when they brought out the um, boho blue mini uh, Stampin' Cut and Emboss. Misty Moonlight, a returning color, Night of Navy, and some white. And then these are, okay, this is my favorite paper of this one. Look at those darling little bunny rabbits. Um, these are the papers. Those are gorgeous too um, in this in this suite. Um, so these are included in the designer series paper share too. Lots of cute little um, woodland creatures there too. I don't know. Is that also a fox? Maybe it's two foxes. For some reason, that looks like something different to me. I don't know. Anyway, um, and then the back sides with the really great um, countryside in uh, paper. So, okay, so I did have one more to share with you. Um, anyway, you want to sign up for the paper share. You also have the option to get the color collection. If you would like to um, see all of the colors, since there are basically we have a new set of um, 50 uh, colors in our collections and the way they go together. So let me show you here. Here are the new color collection. So we have the new in colors. We have the returning in colors. So that one hasn't changed. We have the brights, which are changed up and moved around. We have some returning and new colors there. Um, if you're not sure which ones are new and you're looking at your book, make sure you look at the very top in point five point font are the new and returning. Um, these are the neutrals and the new lineup, the new lineup of regals and the new lineup of subtles. And I am a huge fan of the way these color combinations come together. Um, so you can add a color collections. Uh, I thought I had one of these made up. Did I? I know I did. Where did it go? All right. Well, anyway, um, there are in colors um, and color collection um, papers, and you'll get a set of 50 of these. So you'll get a cardstock, um, a ready to stamp card base in each of the New, each of the colors in the collection, as well as one of the um, pages of the uh, designer series paper. So you'll have all 50 colors to go with you if you add that option to the share. And then there's an option to add embellishments, which has been super popular. Um, so I brought that back by popular demand. All right. I think, did we cover everything that we needed to cover today? Um, if you're wondering why, you know, if yes, I picked my shirt to match, I did. It is not a perfect match, but I think it's not bad, actually. Um, picked a, a, a shirt to match here today. And uh, this card um, with this beautiful balloons is just an outstanding set of um, stamps and dies. And I know, uh, like we said at the very beginning, I said, well, Meg, I have birthday stamps already. Uh, remember, these dies and these stamps are for so much more than just birthdays. Um, lots of possibilities. So if you missed that Part, you're going to want to go back to the beginning of the video and uh, check it out again where I introduced and teased some of the different ideas for the die pieces in this suite. So, all right. Um, hey, let's see. Oh, hey, Carol. Good to see you guys. Hey, um, if I didn't say hi to you, I'm sorry. Hi, everybody who I might have missed, Tanya and Elizabeth and Barb and everyone. Um, make sure you say hi. I love to see where people are watching from. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. The link is in the video description. Um, for supplies for today's card. So um, make sure that you uh, use that one. I think I inadvertently left off the um, in color dots, but you can find those. Um, but the sweet and the um, new uh, color collection things. So I will see you guys again on Thursday. So your stamping homework between now and then is to like figure out what you're getting first from the new catalog. Um, keep in mind that ordering and shipping shipping times may take just a little longer um, than we're used to uh, with a lot of excitement over the new catalog. So um, if you are desperate and you need your things right away, you can uh, pay the premium to get two day shipping. Um, it's an extra $20 over the regular cost of shipping, but your items will arrive two business days after you place your order. Um, if your order is placed before 11 a.m. Mountain time. So like if you're going to go place your order now and you pick two-day shipping, 
Uh, we're before 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Today's Tuesday, so your order would arrive on Thursday. Um, otherwise, if you're not in a super hurry, you're just excited to get some new things and you'd rather spend that $20 on a new stamp set, um, you can just pick regular shipping as usual and just know that your um, order will come. It will. Uh, it just might be a little, a little bit behind schedule for what you're used to. So, all right. Yes. Oh, and I'm so glad you, or Anna, sorry. Gosh, my contacts maybe need replacing. I'm glad you love the cards. Hey, Louise. And I will see you guys again on Wednesday morning, 9.30 a.m. Central Time for Maker Mornings with Meg and 7 p.m. It is a double header day, um, 7 p.m. Central Time for the Love and Stamps new catalog virtual kickoff. So, all right, guys, have a super fabulous day. Have fun browsing. And uh, I um, encourage you to sign up for the paper share. Uh, secure your spot so you don't miss out. If you were planning to do that, link is in the video description. Happy stamping, everyone.